Hello and welcome to this short video on how to use the repository modernizer tool for aligning your existing projects to AEM as a cloud service compliant project structure. Here I will be executing the tool via the Adobe IO CLI plugin for AEM as a cloud service code refactoring tools. The tool can be executed via the repository modernizer command as shown here. To understand how to properly configure the tool before execution, please go through the explanations and examples available in the GitHub repository. Here I have a sample customer code base consisting of two projects, project 1 and project 2, each having their own set of content packages and bundles. This is the configuration file for the Adobe IO CLI plugin. I have already added the necessary input parameters. First is a group ID which will be applied on all the artifacts that will be generated by this tool. Second, we need to configure for the parent form. The path requires the existing parent form path, the artifact ID, app title and the version which will be applied on the newly generated parent form. Similarly, for the all package, the artifact ID, app title and the version that needs to be applied on the artifact. Here since we have two projects, I have configured them as follows. For project 1, first we need to add the absolute path to the project. Then we need to add all the content packages which are already existing and need to be restructured according to AEM as a cloud service rules. Here we only have the single content package which has been added here. Relative path to existing filter.xml. So this path is relative to the content package itself. So the path starting from source till the filter.xml. Similarly relative path to the existing JCR route, which is this one. The artifact ID, app title, app ID and version which needs to be applied for the artifacts, UI config, UI apps and UI content which will be generated by the tool for this project. Similarly for the second project, I have added the absolute path to the project to the existing content package folders, which is content and the workflow package. Similarly, the relative path to the existing filter.xml starting from the source folder till the filter.xml folder and the relative path to existing JCR root. The artifact ID, app title and the app ID versions which need to be applied on the artifacts produced for this project. Now we are ready to execute the repository modernizer tool on the sample projects. The tool generates a target folder at the location where the command is executed. The target folder comprises of a result.log file which contains detailed logs about the success and failure of each step performed by the tool. Please go through the logs to ensure that everything has completed successfully. Once the tool has finished its execution, it reports the paths on which the specific log file, summary report and the transformed project packages will be found. The project folder contains the modernized projects along with a summary report for the tool's execution. Here is the initial structure of the customer projects and here is the modernized project structure. There is the all artifact, the analyze module, 
the separate projects each having the UI apps, UI app structure, UI config and UI content packages along with the core bundles which were migrated. Similarly for project 2 we have the required content structure along with the bundles which were copied over from the source. Here is the parent form. The all package contains the necessary dependencies and packages embedded in itself. Thank you for watching this video and please let us know if you have any feedback or improvement requests.